Hi, this is Mike Donati in the Beswick Application Engineering Group. This video is going to show the recommended practices for installing and removing polyurethane tubing from barb style fittings. Here we have a barb style fitting. So the first thing you need to know is the inside diameter of your tubing. Commonly, tubing is specified by the outside diameter. But the important feature when you're using a barb style fitting is the inside diameter of the tubing. One way of measuring it is to take some calipers and measure the inside diameter. I'm getting about, if you can see that, 126. Um, but a better way of measuring tubing is to use pin gauges. Here we have two pin gauges. We're using them as a go and no go and it's set up for eighth inch tubing. So I'm using the green go pin and it inserts in, so that's good. And then I use the no go and it's not inserting. So that I know that this tubing has an eighth inch inside diameter. Now the bar fitting that Beswick offers that fits eighth inch tubing is the MH1332. That's this fitting right here. I've installed an MH1332 on this assembly and now the next step is to push the tubing onto the fitting. But before I do that, since in this demonstration I'm going to use a tubing clamp, I am going to put the tubing clamp on the OD of the tubing. Um, and I did skip one step. Uh, an important thing to do before you install the tubing is to make sure it's cut nice and um, square. If you have some scissors on your desk, you might be uh, encouraged to use those. And you can use scissors, but I don't know if you can see in the video, but the cut isn't the greatest. Um, you want a nice clean cut. So a better way of doing it is to take some cutters such as these here and make a nice cut. Let's see if we can get one. Yeah, that's much better. It's clean cut. Um, so I'm going to now push the tubing over the barb. So you might see, a, or you should see on the barb, there's a lead-in angle that helps as you first start pushing the tubing onto the barb. So again, we have the clamp already on the tubing. And I'm going to start, uh, if my hands will obstruct your view, but I'm starting to push the tubing onto the barb, over the barb. And I'm going to go. So now it's tubing is pressed up to the base of the fitting. So it's now installed. Again, if you're going to use a tubing clamp, now you would install a tubing clamp. This one here has a, a light, we call it a, a light bulb type thread on it, so it can be um, threaded on. And the tubing clamp is going to restrain the OD of the tubing from expanding under pressure. In many applications you don't need it, but for extra security we're going to end this demonstration show using this clamp. There we go. So now we have the polyurethane tubing installed on the barb and we have our clamp in place. So this uh, assembly is complete. The next step is what if you want to remove that tubing? And this is a little bit trickier. So the first thing you would do is remove the clamp. Also removing the fitting here. Remove the base of the fitting. Now I'm taking the clamp off. There we 
go. So now the clamp's off. Now one way of removing the tubing, this is quite common, I've done it many times myself, is just to pull on the tubing and try to remove it from the barb. You can probably actually see as I'm doing that, it's, it's pulling the tubing ID is getting smaller as I pull on it. And that actually grabs uh, more securely on the barb as you're pulling on it. I'm going to demonstrate that by using this other assembly. This has a smaller tube. So I'm going to hold on to the, this is a pressure regulator here with a, a barb fitting. It's a smaller ID. This is 16th inch ID tubing. So I'm going to grab onto it and just pull. And that came off. You can do that. The problem is once you do that, you're going to remove uh, some of the tube from the ID. It's going to take a sliver of that tubing off because the barb is holding on to that tightly. So what you'd want to do if you're going to use that method to remove the tubing is recut it so you have a nice clean um, surface when you want to reinstall it. So we'll reinstall it here. There we go. So that's on. But in this case, we're not going to use that method. Another method that we find that works pretty well, let's see, take this stuff away, is to use these, um, this is a Zoron brand, and this is an Excelite brand uh, cutters, and they are mentioned in our technical paper. And this one here is an Excelite model 170M. This is a Zuron. I don't have the model number here, but it is in our white paper. Um, so the idea is here is to cut a small piece of tubing off with these cutters. You want to make certain you do not cut the barb as you're doing this. So some people tend to take a razor blade and then cut down the axis of the tubing. That's not a good idea because you can actually damage the barb and that might cause the connection to leak upon reassembly. So we want to try to avoid cutting the barb. We're going to cut behind the barb. Here we go. So I took a little piece of it off here. If you can see there's a little piece I'm working on here. This is going to make it easier now to kind of work the tubing off. Uh, maybe I'll take a little bit more. There we go. So now I've worked the tubing off. Uh, we can see here the I've cut the taking little pieces of the, the tubing off. Again, I did that behind the barb, so I wasn't cutting into the barb. Now, of course, you don't want to push this tubing back on when you're reconnecting because it's damaged. Again, I take my cutters, and I make a nice clean cut. Now we have a nice surface. It's unblemished, and I can then uh, this case here, I, I still have the clamp over here. If I wanted to reuse the clamp, uh, this clamp can be reused, but um, again, I would push it on. There we go. And then if I wanted to use the clamp, I would thread it on. So this is a uh, Typical procedures for installing and removing polyurethane tubing onto barb style fittings. Please visit our website www.beswick.com, B E S W I C K.com, and you can email tech support at beswick.com if you'd like to send some questions. Thank you.